I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Kranz Mode here and today we've got something brand new that I think a lot of you guys are gonna like. It's called the Draft Promo. So it's a sort of mix between Draft and the Predictor promo i don't know it's not really a program it's like a program sort of thing but you would uh get different challenges like different uh, will this person win in the in the madden classic tournament or whatever in truth or, or, or false and, and so you had to sort of try to guess which person was going to win or um guess certain scenarios what was going to be the outcome um and this one's going to be about the draft so i'm really pumped there's a lot of sets there's some solos i'm going to show you guys um but we're going to start off so as soon as you get into ultimate team you get your daily pack to get your Landon Collins, but you're also gonna get this Madden Championship pack. So I'm gonna just open up mine, sort of give you guys an idea of what is in them, and we're gonna talk about it a little bit. So we get a true, and we get the Madden Championship. So earn Madden Championship predictor collectibles through solo challenges. Use them in sets to make predictions about the Madden Championship. Earn coins or correct picks. Watch the Madden Championship on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, April 29th through April 30th. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, that, I guess that was more about the Madden Championship. Um, so we're going to go into the solos. It says check the solos out. So right here, you're going to go to solo challenges. And uh, we got the draft predictor. So if you go into here, there are 10 different solos. Total coin coin rewards are 9603 packs so basically these packs let me find one let me see what they're actually called draft predictor reward pack um that seems to be what they're called yeah they're spread out through so you're gonna have to play them all to get them all um but then you're gonna go into the set so each one is gonna be a player that is projected to be taken in the first round which is really cool um that they have the the players in there so go to sets and one of the first ones i think yeah number two is gonna be draft predictor so there's 33 different sets and right from the start you're gonna see basically you're, you're gonna put the player into the team that you think they're gonna get selected or the pick that they're gonna get selected um so right here are the rewards number four if you get four correct answers you get 10,000 coins bonus. If you get eight correct, you get 50,000 coins. 16 correct, and you get 250,000 coins. And then if you are the person, single person with the most correct answers, you are going to get a 99 overall master Cam Newton. Now, say you get 25 correct, and 25 is the highest, as well, but you and like 100 other people get it, all of you guys will get a 99 overall master cam newton now they haven't shown the card art yet um that i've seen but if they have shown it and shown any of the stats i will throw them up on the screen i also think it'd be kind of cool to go and look at the past cam newton cards and seeing what the stats are and sort of guess what they're gonna be uh would be pretty cool if you guys want to see that i'll probably do that at the end of the video so stick around if you are curious about that so uh basically pick number one Worth 100 coins, a lot of people say it's going to be Miles Garrett. So if you put Miles Garrett in here, you'll be able to get it. So basically that same sort of thing. Whoever you think is going to be selected, at number two, number three, number four, put them in there, put their collectible that you earn from the solo challenges. Um, so as you guys probably already noticed, as you go down in picks, the coin value goes up. The, the last one, number 32 pick, is worth 15,000 coins. So if you're able to get that one correct, you get 15,000 coins. Um, so if you get these end ones correct, it's going to be really nice. So definitely keep that in mind when you're when you're doing these. Um, if you have a player you think is going to fall, you're going to want to stick them in uh, stick them in the whatever pick you think they're going to fall to. Also keep in mind, teams are going to trade. There are going to be some draft day trades. Usually there's like one or two teams that either move up, move down. Uh, Cleveland's got two picks. They might... They might decide, hey, we can move back and let somebody else that likes to move up. I know the Eagles have moved up before. Some other teams have moved up, and they might want to move up again this year. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking at mock drafts. And if you guys want to see maybe a video where I do my predictions and have I put all my collectibles in these, if you guys want to see something like that, definitely let me know down in the comment section. I would love to see that. Um, see if you guys want to see it. I mean... Um, I think it would be a lot of fun just sort of uh, studying a lot of players and stuff. So let me know what you guys want to see if you guys want to see it. Uh, but also, my suggestion for this, 
definitely go look at the mock uh, drafts, look at a bunch of different ones, look at past ones to see how accurate people were. But also, it says the set expires April 27th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right before, the, I think the draft starts at 8 or 8.30. I could be wrong on that time. But that day, so I would wait until that day to put them in. Unless if you know you're not going to be able to put them in that day, maybe put them in the day before. But I would wait until as close as you can to that time expiration. And the reason, uh, the reason I say that is because maybe there's like a leaked video or something happens right before the draft and maybe, you know, th this is all hypothetical. Maybe a player, uh, a leaked video comes out of him smoking, maybe wearing a, like a gas mask or something. I don't know. And maybe he like falls in the draft. He was supposed to go to like number four and then he goes like number 14 or something like that. But I, it's all hypothetical. Things could happen. Oh yeah. Oh, did that happen? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, things like that happen. My, a lot of uh, trouble with, uh, what's that? Foster, the, the linebacker. People are talking about him. You know, how he failed the, the drug test at the combine. So he's, his value might fall. He might not even be selected in the first round. So things you got to keep in mind uh, when you're doing these. Uh, but I would wait as late as you can. But make sure you get them in before that 6 p.m. deadline. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing this. But again, if you guys want to see me record which ones I stick them in. And we'll see how accurate I See if I'm a draft champion. <laughs> Freaking crap, draft champions. Uh, but see how well you. I'm curious to see. I definitely want to do a video, see how well you guys did. Um, I'm definitely uh, think it's going to be interesting. So I love this. I think it's a great idea. Well, one thing about the Cam Newton, a lot of people are upset that he's a non auction, non trade. But there will be another 99 draft Cam Newton that comes out later on, maybe next week or the week. I guess it probably would be next week around the draft time. It's probably going to be. You get all the players from the draft that were drafted, all the rookies, and put them into a set, and the, the Cam Newton's going to be the reward. So I think I think that's going to be a really good card, uh, but if you get them free from this draft predictor, um, get a 99 overall for free, you can put that in the title. Uh, but if you get him for free, he is not going to be able to be auctioned. And I think that's fair. If you get a freaking 99 overall for free, he shouldn't be able to be auctioned in my opinion anyways. But that's just me. A lot of people think it's not fair. Uh, but so that is the uh, the new draft predictor. Um, it also will we'll have new stuff coming out next week with a whole draft. Um, I'm excited. I was going to go. I was really thinking about going up to Philly uh, for the draft. EA's not doing anything there. I would really like to do that, but I'm not super hyped about it. I, I would, last year, I definitely would have gone to the draft that was in Philly, but this year, I don't know. There's, I'm not going to be able to stay anywhere fairly close. It's going to be very expensive, so probably I'm just going to stay. I actually don't even have cable. I canceled my cable, so I'm going to have to try to like find an online stream where I can watch the draft. Maybe I'll just watch it. Uh, Keep, keep a track on it on Twitter or something like that. I, I don't know. I, I'm definitely going to find a way to watch it. Even if I have to go, I'll probably go to B-dubs. I love B-dubs. Uh, but, uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys are have planned for the draft. Are you guys going to stay at home watching? you guys going to go out with some friends? Uh, I've done that in the past. We hung out with some friends, and it was pretty cool. So, I forgot there was one other thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to look at the old Cam Newton card and uh, just see what his value, like what his stats could look like. Um, what's the best overall Cam Newton? So, of course, there's none up because it's a limited time. It's a 91 overall Cam Newton. I probably put some stats on the screen for you guys. Um, 91 overall, so keep that in mind. Um, speed, 83. Throw, throw power, 93. Throw accuracy short, 90. 89 throw accuracy medium, 83 deep with uh, 92 throw on the run. So, a solid mobile quarterback. I think he's going to look a lot like... Um, Maybe like a Steve McNair. That's how he's, he's probably going to play a lot like that. Um, but I do want to see. I'm going to look for quarterbacks that went from a 91 to a 99. I'm not sure how many 99 quarterbacks we have. If we have any that uh, were a 90, 91 at, at a certain time. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong sword. That's why. All right. So let's see. Um, Steve McNair might have had around a 91. Tony Romo had a 94. I don't know. Maybe uh, it would be nice if it was a mobile quarterback. Let's let's look at Big Ben. 
or Aaron Rodgers. Those would be Andrew Luck. Let me let me do a little search in here. So he has a 90 overall, going to a 97. Okay, I think that's a decent comparison we could do. Um, obviously, speed and stuff is going to be a little different. But, yeah, let's go ahead. We will compare the 90 overall to the 97. Um, I don't have the 90 overall, so I can't really do that. But uh, I will do it on Mutthead. Maybe throw up a couple of screenshots. All right, so comparing, he went from a 90 to a 97. And the Cam Newton would go from a 91 to a 99. So it's going to be a close, maybe one or nah, probably one difference maybe you could you could say between Ben Roethlisberger and Cam Newton between what they're going to go up by um, so I really wish I had a Cam Newton car I'll probably get the stats for it and throw it up so you guys can see um, what they are currently but uh, I'm thinking speed this has speed for Big Ben going up 5 I think it was an 83 I could see him going up to a 90 for speed I could see that um, strength went up four. I could see that for Cam Newton. Um, acceleration up five. So it seems like four, three, four, five seem pretty good for a lot of those speed traits and things like that. Um, throwing, let's see, throw power went up four. But is that chemed? Oh, it is chemed. Let me take chemistries off. It auto chemed on Mutthead, which is kind of cool, but this, this instance, it wasn't cool. All right, so throw power went up three. For Big Ben, I could see that for Cam Newton. I could probably see four or five uh, for Cam Newton. I think it was like a 90. I think that's, or 92. I could see it going up by a good four or five points. Um, throw accuracy short went up three. Medium went up four. Deep went up five. Throw on the run went up three. I could see a lot of those stats being very similar. Um, at least how much it went up by. So I could see maybe three, four, five is what his stats are going to go up by from the 91 overall. Again, we don't have the 91 overall up here, unfortunately. Um, but I do think it would be pretty cool to see what his stats are going to look like. I don't know if... I don't think they've released anything about the Cam Newton card last time I checked. Let me... I could, be, I could be recording all this for nothing. Maybe they already released the stats. No, they haven't. Um, yeah, so... Maybe they'll release it by the time it comes out, but who knows. Oh, another thing about the Cam Newton card, it will have the Gunslinger and the Conductor Chemistry, which is awesome. I don't know if there's any other quarterback who has those two chemistries, the ability chemistries. I know um, Carson Wentz has two, but one is an identifier and one is Conductor, which is kind of cool, I guess, but... I don't need an identifier for a quarterback, so I think it's kind of wasted, but whatever. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know how good you think the Cam Newton card will be. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hit sticks, we got them. We juke left, we juke right. Well, how you